Good morning everybody. Welcome to my creative time with Emma and also welcome to our 82nd edition release blog hop and sale. I am super excited because everything that my team and I showcase this week is all available for purchase right now in my store. Um, don't forget to use the code August 2018 and that's um, abbreviated in capital letters AUG2018 um, to get a discount off of your entire purchase okay um, and that offer actually applies to in stock items only the only thing I will offer as a pre-order is if I sell out of any out of our new edition any of the new release that we have out right now if I sell out of any of those I will make those available for pre-order so this way you won't miss out on that sale okay the sale will run today which is um, today is Friday August 17th 8 a.m. through next Friday August 24th at midnight Pacific Standard Time okay um, that's when the sale will end so let's go ahead and get started for um, the freebie will be this so for those of you who are new I do offer I always offer a freebie so this little pumpkin die will go to the first 50 shoppers um, once the 50 shopper comes comes through I will have this available for purchase so just in case you missed that window you will see it in the store um, and it's not included with the bundle it is it will be sold separately okay so I'm gonna go ahead and quickly show you what I made with this it is called the pumpkin face die I use one of my existing dies that I have out already called the pretty uh, treat topper die and look at how adorable this is you could add that face to just about anything and it, it will be just as cute as can be so basically to add little cheeks I just add some I added a little orange sequence then I went ahead and put glossy accents on the eyes the nose and the mouth and I think it came out super duper cute okay so that is the freebie die that will go to the first 50 shoppers okay starting right now um, all right let's put that aside next one here is a stamp and die set now I don't have these in the packages because I figure it'll be easier for me to show you out of their package um, this one here is our stamp and die set it's called witchy witchy um, and this I wanted to show you I wanted to show you when we were sneak peeking these but I didn't want to show you the stamps because I like something to be a surprise I made a little stamp image of the actual die so basically sometimes I want to use a stamp to kind of outline the die rather than having um, a layer now don't get me wrong I love layers but sometimes I want to switch it up a bit so what I did was I made a stamp of the outline of this actual tombstone um, so go ahead and stamp it first and go ahead and put this you know right on that Go ahead, tape it down, and run it through your machine. It'll perf it'll cut out beautifully. Okay, so this does come with a little stitch tombstone that you can layer on top of this guy. Just don't forget to remove all of the little images on the inside with your using your snips or your wire cutters because otherwise it's not going to cut well. Okay, so I'm going to quickly show you my card that I made with this. Okay, so the tree is from an existing stamp set Halloween stamp set I have already called spooky time um, and then here goes that little tombstone look at how nice and clean it looks with the actual stamp uh, along the inside perimeter of the die I think it looks really cute I went ahead and stamped a sentiment in there and the little tiny spiders and the little bats come from the next uh, set I'm gonna show you right now well, that one was called Witchy Witchy. The next set is called Open If You Dare. And here it goes right here. So basically, same scenario. We have that stamp to coordinate with the bigger die. And the little bats from that card I just showed you, which is this one here. The little two little bats came from this set here as well. So basically, this comes with a little, also a stitch layer that you could layer on top of here if you don't want to use that little um, 
this little guy right there okay and I love the way it came out so let me show you exactly how I how it looks when it's stamped so here goes the card I made see how it, it looks on the inside of the little tombstone and you can't really tell it's a tombstone because I have my cutie patootie little mummy sitting right on top of it but I had stamped it on the actual die um, and I love the way how clean it looks so that uh, open a few dares from this set here along with the two spiders. Now the little mummy is from an existing stamp set I have out already called Too Cute to Spook um, which I do have available as well because they were sold out for a little bit and I have that back in stock. Um, super cute, super easy. This card was so easy to get together and I love I love my Halloween pattern paper. I'm so glad that I hoard it because otherwise I wouldn't have any. So I just use some Halloween uh, background paper for that layer there. Super simple and it came out really cute. Now this little um, spider die right there comes from the next set I'm about to show you which is from the witch hat topper die. Okay so Hopefully, let me go ahead and scooch this off to the side so you can see that better. Um, so basically, it comes with the little witch hat. Um, so it comes with four dies. Here goes the little band, the spider, and the little buckle. Now, when you fold it together, and I do have an example of how to put together um, on my blog already, um, which you do these little cut lines here. That is your guide to where this is going to go but I put the cut lines there as a guide for us so when we put the topper on top of our candy we'll know where to put the staples like in between there and then this is going to go there and you're going to go ahead and just um, layer that on top and then you can put the spider so on this I went ahead and I used all the dies for it because I just thought it came up super duper cute and what I did for the little buckle I added some orange sequences now this little label die right here is actually this die right here that I used here. I cut it out again in white and I used Happy Halloween from the um, Open If You Dare stamp and die set. And I just added a sequence on the actual spider. So basically I use all the dies that are in this set along with Open If You Dare for the actual sentiment. And I think it came out super classy looking and super, super duper adorable. So that is my favorite, favorite witch hat topper die. Last but certainly not least is our coffin treat pocket right here. Okay, it comes with a total of two dies, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you what I created with this one. I This is the little treat I made right here with the little Snickers. Now, you see how I, I, I outlined it with the actual, um, with the stamp, and I love the way it looks. It just like I said, I don't know, for some reason, I love my stitch dies, don't get me wrong, but for some reason... This kind of makes it look clean, and I really like the way it came out. Um, and then I just added twine, basically cut it out in polka dot paper, stamped the image, uh, adhered that on with some pop-up tape, and put added some twine, and that's it. All the spooky Halloween greetings and the little spider and the little label and the stamp are from Open If You Dare, and the actual die is the actual coffin treat. Uh, pocket die okay everybody so that is it everybody that is a wrap okay um I hope you all enjoyed our sneaky peeks for the week I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of put everything here for you um sorry I didn't want to do packaging because I mean I wanted you to see it out in the open so you could see the actual real size of everything um, and I do have the specific sizes, the approximations on in the store, okay? So let me grab everything here. One, two, three, four. And then here goes this right here. Along with the little freebie die right there, okay, everybody? So that is it. Don't forget to head on over to my blog at www.creativetimeforme.com to join us for the blog hop for even more inspiration um, how to use these brand new stamps and dice. And this way, when you get them in your hot little hands, you'll already know what to do with it. And also don't forget to leave your comments along the way on all of our blogs for a chance to win 
a gift card to my store. I will announce that winner on my blog on next Wednesday. Okay, everybody? So again, thank you so very much for tuning in. I love reading all of your comments. I'm so happy that you are all happy with this release just as much as we were happy creating it for you. So have a fabulous weekend, everybody. And don't forget to hop along and happy shopping. And I will see you all back here next week. Bye-bye.